In the annals of Karnataka's law enforcement history, there lies a tale that captivates the essence of pursuit, resilience, and justice, a narrative that intertwines a grisly murder, an underworld done, and the relentless investigation conducted by the Karnataka police. This saga, deeply embedded in the vibrant tapestry of the Karnataka region, commenced in the serene town of Ankola, set against the backdrop of the year 2013. In this humble town, nestled in the Karwa region, a prominent figure by the name of R. N. Nayak once thrived, known for his multifaceted role as a successful businessman and a dedicated social worker, R. N. Nayak had made a mark as a well-respected Indian politician, having served as an emla for the Indian National Congress multiple times, contributing to the Batkal constituency's development in the years of 1983, 1985, and 1989. Additionally, his efforts extended to the Ministry for Canada and Culture, a testament to his commitment to his community. The intrigue of this narrative spun its threads from the ominous veils of threatening calls received by R.N. Nayak, demanding an exorbitant ransom of three crore rupees. Initiating from the early days of 2010, the source of these harrowing calls was none other than the notorious underworld Don Bananje Raja, an intimidating figure hailing from the coastal areas of Karnataka. Bananje Raja, infamous as Bree, held a formidable position, heading a powerful mafia outfit, the BR Company. The tale unraveled itself into a web of connections and questions. What was the nexus between these menacing calls, RN, Nayak, and the formidable Bananje Raja? Speculations began to arise. Was R.N. Nayak entangled in any form of illicit activities, or was this an orchestrated threat from a malicious underworld figure? Bananji Raja's reputation preceded him, with approximately 40 major cases filed against him. As the police inched closer, he fled to Dubai, seeking refuge. However, in the midst of his exile, Raja established ties with the notorious D Company, headed by the elusive and infamous Dawood Ibrahim. This connection hinted at a chilling collaboration, weaving a complex network within the criminal underworld. The DR Company's operations unveiled a unique modus operandi, wherein one faction of the gang identified affluent individuals in Karnataka while another was tasked with intimidating these targets. Imagine the distress of receiving a menacing call, the voice at the other end demanding monetary security for one's life. Such was the trademark of Bree Company's strategies, commencing from the year 2010. Yet, amidst the fear that gripped many, R.N. Nayak stood unfazed. Rather than succumbing to intimidation, he boldly reported the threats to the police, lodging a formal complaint against the Bar Company against the Bra Company. This peek into the workings of the Burr Company painted a portrait of a man of courage and conviction, determined to stand against the tide of fear. Despite being under police protection, R.N. Nayak went an extra mile for his safety, hiring a personal bodyguard to augment the security measures in his routine life. Engrossed in his responsibilities within the security circle, Nayak seamlessly navigated between his office and home, expecting the humdrum of his daily existence. However, the tranquility of a usual day shattered into chaos on a fateful afternoon of December 21st, 2013. As Nayak stepped out of his office, sudden gunshots reverberated through the air. Two assailants had appeared out of the blue, launching a sudden attack on Nayak. Swiftly reacting, Nayak's bodyguard retaliated, resulting in one of the attackers being hit and collapsing to the ground. In the face of peril, the bodyguard had valiantly shielded Nayak from immediate danger. The gravity of the situation unfolded rapidly. The police had in their possession audio samples and a detailed complaint, yet their efforts were stymied by the limitations of their jurisdiction in Dubai. The vicious attack on R.N. Nayak served as a stark reminder of the imminent risks he confronted daily. The harrowing event not only claimed the life of a cherished businessman, but also brought an abrupt halt to his community. 
oriented endeavors, leaving an irreplaceable void in the lives of many. Media reports reiterated the three years of threatening calls Nyack had received, underscoring the futility of the evidence presented to the police in the face of inaction. As the pressure on the police amplified, an extensive investigation was launched into this high-profile murder. A meticulous pursuit of justice began with the objective of seeking closure for the loss of a revered leader. Investigations are akin to a marathon, laboriously navigating through a web of clues and testimonies, all in the quest for truth. At the crime scene, the police embarked on a methodical journey of evidence collection, recognizing the significance of each minute detail. Bullets were meticulously gathered, alongside a firearm left behind by one of the attackers. The forensic team meticulously harvested samples from the shooter's hand, including traces of sweat, a pivotal discovery that later affirmed the shooter's connection to the crime. The investigation expanded its canvas, seizing CCTV footage that unveiled the presence of two suspicious figures at the crime scene. Further delving into call records unraveled the identity of these potential assailants. The breakthrough emerged as one of the attackers was captured and disclosed a startling revelation during interrogation. We received orders from a prisoner in jail, he confessed, hinting at a link to a notorious gangster. These were not ordinary criminals. 